Hey everyone, the reason behind making this video was twofold. First of all, students know what kind of a rank they want, okay, or between what intervals their rank should lie, but they do not exactly know that how much marks they need to score to get that particular rank that they are desiring. And the second uh, feature uh, that students kind of struggle with is that what kind of a rank would they want? Okay, basically if they want to do a PhD or if they want to get into a government sector undertaking or public sector undertaking, then what kind of a rank would you want to aim for? So I'm going to discuss both these things. I'm going to correlate or provide you a correlation between the marks and the rank. And secondly, um, I would just give you a brief idea as to the different categories of ranks and what a kind of avenues do they open for you all right now for correlating marks and the rank i have taken the gate 2019 examination scores and the gate 2020 examination scores gate 2019 and 20 were taken because in 2019 the cutoff was one of the highest for the gate examination and for the year 2020 i have taken because uh, this was one of the lowest cutoffs even though the lowest cutoff that can go is 25 the cutoff cannot go be below 25 but it was somewhere you know around 25 the lowest cutoff was in 2017 uh, which was exactly 25 but the number of aspirants that gave that examination were, were too less it was around 15000 and if you see the gate 2020 examination the number of aspirants were 24000 so this will give us a more accurate and a precise result okay so first let's uh, quickly talk about the category and then i'll tell you what kind of uh, uh, marks like you would want and what kind of a rank you would get with that particular uh, target of marks. So we have uh, the first category that is above 1000. So above 1000 basically opens up opportunities for you that is just qualif qualifying the examination. Uh, by the way, in the 2020 examination, 24,000 students gave the exam and 4000 qualified. Okay, so 4000 qualified out of the 24,000 students that had given the examination. Now anyway, coming back to this over here, um, so if you are basically getting a rank above 1000, then you are basically open for PhD opportunities, though the chances are slim, okay, above 1000 rank, you might get an opportunity to do a PhD, but the chances are less, and you will get it through an institute fellowship, you will not have a fellowship of your own, and you are also eligible, most importantly, importantly for project positions, okay, so time and again, a lot of institutes come up with project positions, so they require a gate or a net qualification, so that will basically make you eligible for um, project positions and thirdly it will also make you eligible for government examinations which have their own entrances like for example I'll just give you an ex uh, give you uh, a name of the institute that is NIPER National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research so for to sit for the entrance exam of NIPER you need to qualify the gate exam so these opportunities are open for you if you are getting a rank above 1000 if you are getting in this uh, category that is 100 to 1000 then uh, you can get into PhDs in IITs. Okay, uh, generally top 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 IITs prefer a rank like around uh, uh, 400, like one to 400. Um, so that is where you basically in 100 to 500 you qualify for top IITs. In 500 to 1000 generally um, you qualify the for the newer IITs, right? And then um, between zero to 200, I would say you are you also have a very good chance of uh, getting a government job in a public sector undertaking like ONGC. Uh, BARC or some other uh, institutions. So if you look over here, uh, this is a very big contrasting difference uh, and it depends a lot on the cutoff. So before I begin with the correlation process, I would like to tell you that it depends a lot on the cutoff. But yes, I can give you an approximate idea that or I can give you a higher cutoff that if you score this much, this much marks, you are definitely going to get this much rank, right? So if you look at the 2019 examination, if you are scoring 42 marks or below, that is between, I think the cutoff was 32. So if you are scoring between 32 to 42, um, you will get a rank, uh, like at 42, you get a rank of 1000, right? Then if you want a, uh, if you want a rank between 500 to 1000 in 2019, I'm telling you, this was the year with the highest cutoff, right? You would require a score uh, between 42 to 48 marks, right? For 100 to 500, it is 48 to 59. And for 0 to 100, that is top 100, you have to aim for above 59. This is a safer side, okay, because 2019 was a year with the highest cutoff. So if you're scoring above 59, you would have got a definitely a rank above 100. Sorry, between 0 to 100. Not 0 to 100, actually it's 1 to 100. Okay, so let me just make that change. Um, then we come to the gate 2020 examination, the year with the lowest cutoff. Um, over there, if you wanted a rank of 1000, you had to get 37. Okay, if you want it between 500 and 1000, you have you need to have marks between 37 to 42. Uh, for 100 to 500, it is 42 to 53. And uh, if you want a top 100 rank, then you have to score above 53. So you can see there's a contrasting difference, approximately a difference of six 
marks in the top 100 okay between 1 to 100 so uh, based on this i can give you a rough idea uh, also i want to again emphasize on the difference in the cutoffs okay that if the cutoff marks are very high for one year and very low for the other year just see the difference uh, if you get a score of 42 in the year 2019 uh, which was the year with the highest cutoff you get a rank 1000 otherwise if you score a score of 42 in the year with one of the lowest cutoffs that is 2020 you end up with a rank of 500 okay and then looks let's look over here uh, if you score a, if you if you want the same rank that is if you want a rank of 180 okay then you need to score a 49 and if you score a 54.5 uh, then you get a uh, like if you score 54.5 then you get a rank of 180 in the year 2019 so you can see the same uh, rank but there's a difference of five marks and over here you have the same score but there's a difference of 500 ranks so that is how much it can vary depending upon the cutoff but uh, obviously as we go higher up in the ladder that means if we top, if we aim to top 100 or if, you, if we aim for top 50 then obviously that difference gets very low all right um, now According to me, the GATE 2021 examination is going to have a new pattern and especially multiple select questions will be introduced. Now, because of the introduction of multiple select questions, what I strongly feel is the cutoff is going to low irrespective of how easy or difficult the exam is. Okay, the cutoff is definitely going to low. And uh, keeping in mind that the 2019 exam was quite easy, so even if I consider this same level of the examination, right, we should, one thing I should tell you, we should always aim for a higher cutoff. Okay, so that basically you should set a higher target for yourself right so that kind of like keeps you in the safe zone so anyway keeping all these things in consideration considering it's a new pattern and there are multiple select questions so even if i consider it to be one of the easiest examinations even then i feel because of the multiple select questions the cutoff might go low right so according to me okay this is just a prediction that i don't know what the level of the examination is but i can say that if you score above 60 plus uh, in the examination on a safer side you will get a rank of top 100 okay you might as well get a rank of top 50 if you score 60 plus but if your aim is getting a rank between 1 to 100 i would say aim for 60 plus okay that is basically my idea and if you want a rank between 100 to 500 i would say aim for 50 plus okay so if you want a rank between 100 to 500 aim for 50 plus if you rank if you want a rank between 1 to 100 i would say on a safer side you aim for 60 plus right so this is what i feel would be there of course it can go much lower but like i said uh, set a um, target at a much higher um, level or a much higher bracket that kind of like keeps you in the right zone and in a safe zone right Anyway, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Uh, if you have any kind of a feedback or if you feel that I have made some error in interpreting the results, you can let me know down in the comment section. If um, I have made a significant error, I would love to pin your comment so that others can also see. So I would request all of you to go through the comments in case I have made an error or if somebody points out a better interpretation, um, I would pin that comment and you can also have a look at that. But anyway, if you found this video helpful, please do give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel as well uh, that really uh, kind of like motivates me or uh, just think of a small help putting out this for you right um, yeah that's about it i would keep coming up with the videos for the gate 2021 examination so keep uh, subscribe to the channel so that you get the notification as soon as i upload a video right if you didn't like the video um there's pretty much nothing that I can do about it at this point of time and it's quite a shame that if you didn't like the video you were watching it at till this point of time wow okay bye bye hey guys so I'm a verified educator on an academy and along with that I'm also available on the unacademy plus platform where I'm taking live classes along with other educators so in case you're interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the Unacademy Plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount. Alright. And in case you're not interested in attending the live classes, you can watch the free courses that are available on the Unacademy. For that, all you need to do is go to the Unacademy website or download the Unacademy Learning app and search my name over there that is ACT. Once you do that, you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the Unacademy platform. All right.